Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about Opus 4 today and kind of why it's good but not perfect. There's kind of a mismatch and I actually think the problem might come from the system that you're using it within. So I'm using it within Klein or I tried to use it within Klein to build myself a SAS. And I've talked about this a few times on the channel before. The only tool that I've ever used that successfully built me a SAS kind of in under 30 minutes is Replit. I was hoping that Opus 4, because it has a March 2025 cutoff, I was hoping and praying that that would mean that it would be able to code a SAS application for you without errors. I'm here to tell you, or I'm here to give you the results of my experiments. So if you don't know, I launched searchconsoleai.com using Replit. This, like I said, is the only tool that I've ever used um, that actually created an entire working SAS for me. And I'll just show you that quickly now. This was with minimal amounts of going back, telling it to change this, telling it to change this. It created everything you can see here. It has AI generated summary, et cetera, et cetera. So I have been, I, I basically, for benchmarking, I have a very specific way to benchmark models and processes. I try and build the same things, right? So I built Rolls-Royce Rent.it using an, uh, Claude Sonnet 3.7. I built Search Console AI using Replit, which is a SAS. So they're the two kind of benchmarks for a good system, is whether or not it can build something like this for a Next.js service website, or something like this for a SAS, or another example is Irish Breweries Directory or BeechesInIsland.com, which are WordPress directories. Just a quick update on Beaches in Ireland, by the way. I think it's quite funny. <laughs> Instant drop in impressions because it started absolutely pissing it down in Ireland, like it's been raining for the last three days. I really like SEO for things like that. It's one of the reasons I I was so fascinated with SEO um, was like, I really liked psychology. I really liked psychology when I was at um, school. And it kind of has the, the same hallmarks of psychology. Like, the, it's not quite psychology, but it's just interesting that I look outside my window, I see rain. It started raining on Friday, and I see a drop in impressions. Anyway, Beaches in Ireland is doing quite well, as you can see. Last 28 days, 4.75 thousand impressions, which is actually pretty damn good for a fairly new website. So if a model cannot build at the same level as this for a service-based website, this or this for a directory-based website, or this for a SaaS website, then I just continue using Replit, for example, or Opus 4 or whatever. So with that in mind, let's talk about the experiment that I did last night. I'm going to start doing, instead of doing live experiments, I'm just going to start doing experiments and then showing people the results of those experiments, I think. So you can see here, <clears throat> this was my attempt. The cost was 32 bucks, which is absolute madness. My test here, what I wanted to do is I wanted to use Opus, use Opus both for plan and act mode with a very simple prompt, right? These have already been deleted, these uh, variables. But you can see here, make me a SAS in a new, new directory using all the latest versions of everything, use Next.js and OAuth, we can add Stripe later, blah, blah, blah. And it spent 32 bucks, right? So the same system built by Replit cost me, I think it was, it was like three to six dollars worth of Replit credits, right? I pay 25 bucks a month for Replit and Replit can build me four to five SASs every single month for that amount of money. It works out about three to six dollars. I have tried Every single model on Klein, I've tried Rue code, uh, augment code, I didn't actually try augment code, probably would work. Replit is the only one that I've tested on the SAS benchmark that managed to build something worthwhile. This, on the other hand, cost $32, and uh, yeah, the result is lacking to say the least. Okay, so I've just CD'd into the correct directory, and I'll do npm run dev. And we'll have a look at the masterpiece that was created for me by this system using the best and most intelligent model in the world for $32. Now, just before I show you this, bear in mind, this was without context, right? This isn't Claude code. I have a feeling that Claude code 
I can get it to work. I'm working on this at the moment using Claude code instead of Klein. And I do think that Opus is perfectly capable of coding this. I just wanted to see if it was capable of coding it just using its own knowledge and memory, right? This is what it came out with for $32. Now, I'm not deriding this. I know that this is quite easy to turn into something good and blah, blah, blah. What I am going to deride is the fact that it doesn't even work. Right, you just, it, it's crazy. 32 bucks, like, this is why people say, oh, Opus is bad or Sonnet is bad, because they come along, they try and just build a SaaS, and building a SaaS is not like building uh, a service-based website, right? If I could put them in order of complexity of the websites I showed you before, the easiest is service-based, the medium is WordPress website, the hardest by far is a, a, a SaaS. The reason is, is you need to think about Stripe, you need to think about the worst thing of all, which is OAuth. I hate OAuth, it's so complex. And then you need to think about databases as well. So as soon as you try and build something that's more complicated, this is where these things start to fall down and things like Replit are actually much, much better for building something like this. My next test in this kind of series of things that I'm doing is gonna be Claude Code. The reason being is if you haven't used it, Claude Code is really, really good at doing its own research, applying that research properly, and then coding correctly from that research. So you've probably had an experience where you've tried to use Context7 MCP, and you're thinking to yourself, well, why isn't this working? This should be perfect, right? The problem is that it doesn't apply that research properly. The good thing about Claude Code is the prompting and the way that the whole system is built is more of like a logical um, and extremely intelligent coding assistant. Klein is amazing, Roo is amazing, but like who's going to be better? The open source company with 30 con contrib contributors or Anthropic, which is a $60 billion company, right? It's just not realistic to expect Klein and also Anthropic made Claude, right? So they know exactly how to prompt it. It's unrealistic to expect Klein to be able to outperform something like Claude Code. Claude Code specifically is Claude's internal tool for their internal systems to speed up their coding. You need to think about that for a second. A $60 billion company has a tool that they have said has made their engineers more efficient. If you are this $60 billion company, your priority is to make this tool as good as possible. Not so that people like us use it, but so that your engineers can be even more efficient. If they continue to update Claude code and make it the best thing possible because it benefits them, you're gonna benefit massively from mastering Claude code. That's why I'm gonna be talking more about Claude code uh, very, very soon, because I do agree that it is possibly the best coding system I've ever seen. But I wanted to talk about this today just because I feel like Opus and Sonnet are going to get a bad rap because people are using it inside Klein. I think something like Replit, which should have Claude 4 Opus in it very, very soon, are going to benefit the most from the systems. And I highly recommend that you try something like Replit if you're failing to build something complicated with just Opus. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll leave the video there. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.